Welcome to my best of 2017 palettes video. I should have already uploaded my best of 2017 face products video. So if you haven't seen that yet, go check that out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you haven't so that you're notified when I upload. I know sometimes when people are subscribed, they still don't get notified if they haven't hit that notification bell and thumbs up this video. If you have seen that best of 2017 makeup face products video, this whole ensemble probably looks pretty familiar to you because I'm filming them on the same day, same afternoon. So I wanted to tell you about the palettes that I loved in 2017. I was gonna try and fit those into the face products and the eye and lips video that I'm doing, but I thought it might make them a little bit long. So I just decided to separate them out. I'm including face palettes in this video as well as eye palettes. And I think I'm gonna start with face palettes. I have loved other palettes this year that are not included in this video. These are just standout palettes and some palettes that I really, really love, I just haven't had quite a long enough to include in this video because I just really started playing with them. They might be in my 2018 best up video, who knows? So I have three face palettes that I really love and completely stood out to me this year and I'm gonna start with those. The first one I'm gonna talk about, I don't even know the official name for this, but it's this Makeup Forever customizable palette. And I customized mine with a contour, a highlight, and a blush. And I'll put my shades down below because every time I've shown this in any video, you guys always ask me what my shades are, which makes sense. Sometimes I forget to put them below. I always try to do that for you guys too. But I love this because you can really do this palette in any way you want. You can do an all bronzer, contour palette, all highlight, a blush and bronzer and contour, anything you want. And they have different sizes of these palettes too. You can do a duo, a trio, a quad, I think. I just, I love it. The way it's done, it's genius. There's a nice mirror. But it's not just the format of this that I love, it's the quality. I've really never messed with Makeup Forever face products before and these are phenomenal. I highly recommend you checking these out. These have been a game changer for me for 2017. I find I don't even have to tap off my brush before I put it to my face. That is just how great the quality is. The pigmentation is there. They last throughout the day. You could really have this and need nothing else to travel with. I love it. It's great and I love that you can change things out as the seasons change, as your mood changes, you could travel with it, it's streamlined. I just think it's a great product all the way around. A product that I held off on for a long time, and I don't know why, and I don't know what finally made me break down. I don't think I got it on sale, maybe I did. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. This product is awesome, and I really wish I had gotten it much earlier than I did. I guess I was thinking how different can a highlight and bronzer slash contour be? Just like the Makeup Forever, the quality is just superb. So smooth, so blendable, it's just stunning. They are so wearable for every day. You can really contour and bronze with the contour shade. The highlight is not over the top. You can wear it to work or wherever and not be screaming highlighter, yet you can still see it and it looks nice. This is a great staple palette to have. It's travel friendly, it's a great size. You could carry a blush and just this if you're traveling and completely get away with it. I think it's a fantastic product. This is still available and it's on sale, so I don't think it's gonna be available long, so I wanted to go ahead and mention it, but I loved this product for the couple of months I had it in 2017 and I will use this. I'll continue to use it, I'll just put it that way. This is the Becca Apre Ski palette. I've talked about this in another video. I love it. Of course, it's all dusty and nasty. This is just a beautiful, beautiful palette. The bronzer in here is Bronze Bondi, which a lot of people love. So it's really worth having for that. The highlight is opal. This is blushed copper. I don't know if that exists already or not. Rose Quartz is another highlight. You have Icicle and Winterberry Blush. This blush looks like it might be overwhelming, but it is gorgeous on the skin. I can do really my entire eyes and face with this palette. It's stunning on. It just gives that nice flush look. And I really wish they wouldn't make this temporary because it's not really just for winter. You could 
wear these shades all year long. I just love this in 2017. It's one of my favorite purchases. I have entire videos and blog posts dedicated to these Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palettes. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I am gonna tell you why I like these and why I'm putting them in my best of 2017 video because I feel like people are very polarized on these. They either really like them or they really don't. So I'm gonna focus on Beauty Glow because it was the first one that I got. First of all, it's a great size. Uh, you know, look at this. Of course, I have a small face, but it's not that small. It's a decent sized palette. You have this nice giant mirror here and you have basically everything you need to do to do your face. You just need to figure out which palette is right for you. And she does have another palette out now. I don't have that one, but you have three eye enhanced shades here. You have a bronzer, a highlight, and two cheek colors. One is a Swiss shade to put on the outer part of your cheek, and the other is a pop shade to put on the apple of your cheek. I think if you get the right palette for you, this is just the perfect all-in-one, no-brainer, you don't have to think about it when you put it on palette. You can travel with just this and you're covered. So this was the first one that I had. And I think a lot of people think, okay, some of those shades won't work for me, they're too dark. I don't think so. I'm light to medium skin tone, I'm warm skin tone. This works for me year round. You don't have to be a bronze goddess in the summer to wear this palette. I actually use this bronzer for a transition shade in my crease, and I use it also for a contour. You do need to use a light hand with this blush shade but the highlight is subtle. You can really play with these however you wanna play with them, but I just find that it works so well. I'll direct you to those videos too so that you can see how I use this palette and to my blog posts. And I'll just briefly show you the other two palettes that I have. I have Seductive Beauty, which I haven't really played with this one as much as the other two because I got it last. I actually really love this palette more than I thought I was going to because I like a nice taupe shade and it's not super, super smoky. You can go subtle or smoky with this. Again, you can use this as a transition shade. I'm going too much into detail. I just think that these are a great option if you want an easy, no-brainer palette. This is the Natural Beauty, which I think was her original palette. And this is more if you have fair to light skin tones, I think. This is on the verge of being a little bit too light for me. This is one that I use when I want a super natural look, but I am getting a dent in a few of the colors. You know, I'll even put this shade as my transition shade sometimes. Her shadows, I find, are more silky than shimmery. You're not gonna get this huge pigmented pop of color. And I think that that can be disappointing to some people, but if you want a more natural glowy look, these palettes can really work for you. And that's what they're all about is enhancing your natural beauty. They're not about transforming you into something that you're not. And that's what I like about these. If you've watched my channel at all before, you probably knew this palette was going to be in this video. This is the original Tarte Clay Play palette. I use this probably in some form or fashion almost every day. I do have a video on it, so I'm not gonna elaborate too much. I think this is a great face palette. And yes, I say face palette because I have used this all over my face. I use this on my brows, on my eyes. I use this as a liner. I've used this as a liner, contour, bronzer. I actually use this as the blush in the video I did, which I hadn't done before, but it worked really well. You can just use this in any way possible, I find, and it's lovely. I think that you could take this on a trip with you and a blush, and you would be covered for your face color products. This is a great, versatile palette. I know that they have a volume two. I have that palette. I am going to be doing a video shortly on that palette. Stay tuned for that, but I wanted to definitely put this in my 2017 favorites because this has made a big impact on me. I held off on this for a long time because I just thought that it was this normal, everyday, boring matte palette, but this has actually been one of my most used palettes of 2017, and I was actually kind of surprised about that. So these last three palettes are actually palettes I was late to the game on. In 2017, I feel like everybody discovered them before I did. I just thought I didn't need them for one reason or another. But here I am saying that they are some of the best palettes that I purchased in 2017 and I had to include them in this video. 
The first is Anastasia Beverly Hills, Modern Renaissance. I mean, I don't even know if I really even need to say anything about this palette. I've played with it, I've worn it. I mean, I still have a long way to go as far as making a dent in the shadows because I play in different palettes all the time. But the looks that you can get from this are beautiful. I really thought it was just another warm palette, but I think it's just so versatile. And yes, it is warm, but I love that I can get some orangey looks, brown looks, reddish pink looks. And I love the shimmer shades in here as much as I love the mattes. It's just a really nice, beautiful palette. The quality is great. I don't know what else to say about this palette that hasn't already been said by everybody else on YouTube already. I'm just sorry that I waited so long to get it thinking that I didn't really want a red based palette. It's not a red that makes me look tired like I thought it was going to. There's really only, you know, a couple of really red pink based shades and the rest are just really warm and nice. You can do a lot with this palette. Another palette that for some reason I held out on and I don't know why, is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I know you've all seen this. I really don't need to be showing it to you because you probably know what it looks like and that's probably a little bit washed out from my lights. I held off on this thinking that it actually didn't have that much peach in it to justify the palette. It was called Sweet Peach, but really there were only a couple of peach shades in here. The rest of it was just a regular palette. So I didn't get it. I got a couple other palettes that had more peach shades in them because for my blue eyes, I really like peach shades. And I don't really know what made me pull the trigger on this eventually. I think I wanted to check out the shade Bellini, which is this really pretty shimmery peach shade here. I don't know, there were a couple other shades that I wanted to check out, but you know, in looking at the palette, there's no cohesion. I mean, you know, let's get that out of the way. With a lot of Too Faced with their bigger palettes, there's no order at all. You know, you're not gonna be able to say, okay, here's a quad I can create a look with. Here is a trio I can create a look with. You really have to just experiment and play and see what kind of looks you can get, which is fine for me. But I love the shimmers in here. They're really, really pretty. I love the peach shades, the warm browns, the neutral browns. There's some beautiful plums. There's even this green shimmer that I don't think I have in another palette. And yes, it's subtle, but to me, that's what makes it wearable for every day. I'm surprised at how much I like this palette. Now I'm kind of sad that I waited so long to get it, but I'm glad I got it in 2017. I've worn it way more than I thought I would. So yeah, this was a great 2017 purchase for me. I talked about this palette recently in a favorites video and I stand by that. I stand by it as being one of my favorites for 2017. This is the Persona Identity Palette. I cannot get over how much I love this palette. I think it was created for brown eyes, but I find it to be absolutely beautiful and absolutely stunning for blue eyes any color eyes. I just can't get over how much I like this palette. The quality of this is just stunning. I held out on it. I don't know why. I love Sona. I follow her. She is a YouTuber. It doesn't only swatch beautifully, but it wears beautifully too. Those are one finger swatches I just now did. And I just am blown away by the quality. And it's not just the shimmers, it's the mattes too. The mattes swatch just the same. I just did that with one finger. It's just unbelievable how great the quality is on this. The shades are subtle yet wearable and beautiful and they last all day. I'm so impressed with the quality of this palette. I wear it so much more than I thought I would. If she came out with another palette, I would buy it up in a heartbeat. I really hope that she does. This was a great purchase for me in 2017 and that is my last palette favorite. Those were in no particular order. I liked them all for various reasons, but they were all favorite palettes of 2017. And I hope you really enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my next best of 2017. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do next, but hopefully you'll enjoy it too. Thank you so much for watching. And again, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and thumbs up this video. And I'll put my social media on the screen and down below so that you can follow me on my social media platforms. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.